Hey everyone, Miss Terry here. It's time to work on letter V. This is our first practice of the week. We're going to learn Vinny Volcano. V is for Vinny Volcano. That is our um, uh, V alpha friend for the week. And we're going to learn about some words that start with V and how to make a V sound, how that's done and what kind of sound it is. So let's start out with Vinny Volcano. I'm going to sing it a couple of times. You can pause it, keep practicing, rewind it, whatever you like, but I'll do it a couple of times to get you started. All right, here we go. Vinny Volcano sees people below. He sees his friend Victor who yells out hello. He hears bands that pass by and go vroom, vroom, vroom. Vinny shows his V and goes boom, boom, boom. Let's do that one again. That one's a little tricky, isn't it? Vinny Volcano sees people below. He sees his friend Victor and yells out hello. He hears vans that pass by and go vroom, vroom, vroom. Vinny shows his V and goes boom, boom, boom. Let's do it one last time. Vinny Volcano sees people below. He sees his friend Victor who yells out hello. He hears vans that pass by and go vroom, vroom, vroom. Vinny shows his V and goes boom, boom, boom. Nice work. So you can see the lava coming out of the volcano. V is for volcano and V is for Vinny. You can see the smoke coming out. That's where Vinny's face is. And you can see the lava spilling out of the top of the volcano. And the lava is making a V. When we do a V, we start at the top and go down and back up again. Where do we start our letters? At the top. So we're going to start at the top and go down and back up, down and back up, down and back up. You can practice that at home with paint, shaving cream, sidewalk chalk, raisins. Well, <laughs> raisins to build a V is what I meant with that one. <laughs> but whatever you use, even pretzel sticks, that's another great way to make some letter Vs. Make lots of V's this week. Um, they're pretty easy to make with your finger. They're easy to make with a crayon and they're easy to make with all kinds of things. Okay, let's take a look at the other V words we have in the picture. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so you can see. So we talked about V is for volcano. V is also for violets. There's some purple flowers down here called violets. V is for vegetables. This is Victor. His name is Victor. That starts with V. And Victor sells vegetables. These are the vans passing by. They look more like station wagons or SUVs. But <laughs> we'll go over van later. I'll show you some other pictures of vans. V is for van. So we have lots of V things. Um, I'm trying to see if we had any other V words. I think that's about it for our V words. Let's check out the V words that we have in our container and on our pictures. So we have V is for van, as I just promised. V is for van. Miss Terry used to drive her kids in the van to soccer practice and play practice and all kinds of stuff. Birthday parties on Saturdays. V is for vase. V is for vase. V is for vegetables, v, v, vegetables. V is for vet. And V is for volcano. Here's an actual volcano. 
And let's see what we have in here. We have some of the same words and a few different ones. V is for video camera. So this is what somebody might use um, if they're filming somebody that's going to be on the news. You might see them using a video camera. V is for van. Here's another van. Vans are often delivery pack, um, delivery trucks are often vans, not trucks. Um, and you've probably seen a lot of those this last year. Lots of people are ordering things instead of going into stores and they deliver them in boxes in big vans. So you may be seeing lots of vans this year. V is for vest. Here's another volcano. V is for visor. It's a kind of a hat you wear kind of over your um, eyes that keeps the sun off you, gives you a little shade on your eyes, but your head is still um, exposed. You can still see the top of your head. That's called a visor. Here is a VW bug a Volkswagen bug. V is for vase. That's something we put flowers in and you may have done the art project. V is for vase yesterday or sometime this week. All right. I think we went through them all. Um, so let me just last talk about um, the sound itself. So you might've noticed when I was making those words that start with V that I put my teeth on my lower lip like this just like we're making the fuss sound. This is what sounds like. Now, if I turn on my throat, if I turn on my vocal cords, then I can make a v sound doing the same thing I do for a f, only I turn on my voice. V, v, v. If I turn off my voice, I make a f on off, on, off. Practice that in front of the mirror this week. It's a good thing to practice. Um, and remember, it's a long sound. It, keep, it keeps on going, um, unlike the stop sounds. The stop sounds go quick, like p, t, d. And the long sounds keep going, like f, v, S -s 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 -